Doc is very proud of being Great Western. He talks endlessly about it. But he works hard too and makes everything go like clockwork. It was a splendid day. The trucks and coaches behaved well. The passengers even stopped grumbling. But the engines didn't like having to bustle about. There are two ways of doing things, Doc told them. The Great Western way or the wrong way. I'm Great Western and don't we know it, Great Road. The engines were glad when a visitor came. He purred smoothly towards them. The fat controller introduced him. Here is Diesel. I have agreed to give him a trial. He needs to learn. Please teach him, Duck. Good morning, purred Diesel in an oily voice. Pleased to meet you, Duck. Is that James and Henry and Gordon too? I am delighted to meet such famous engines. The silly engines were flattered. He has very good manners, they murmured. We are pleased to have him in our yard. Duck had his doubts. Come on, he said. Diesel purred after him. You're worthy, fat Sir Topham Hat to you, ordered Duck. Diesel looked hurt. Your worthy Sir Topham Hat thinks I need to learn. He is mistaken. We diesels don't need to learn. We know everything. We come to a yard and improve it. We are revolutionary. Oh, said Duck, if you're Revo Thinger Gummy, perhaps you would collect my trucks while I fetch Gordon's coaches. Diesel, delighted to show off, purred away. When Duck returned, Diesel was trying to take some trucks from a siding. They were old and empty. They had not been touched for a long time. Diesel found them hard to move. Pull, push, backwards, forwards. Oh, oh. The trucks groaned. We can't. We won't. Duck watched with interest. Diesel lost patience. He roared, gave a great heave. The trucks jerked forward. Oh. They screamed, we can't, we won't. Some of their brakes snapped, and the gear jammed in the sleepers. <laughs> Chuckled Duck. Diesel recovered and tried to push the trucks back, but they wouldn't move. Duck ran quietly round to collect the other trucks. Thank you for arranging these, Diesel. I must go now. Don't you want this lot? No, thank you. Diesel gulped. And I've taken all this trouble. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked me. Besides, said Duck, you were having such fun being Rev whatever it was you said. Goodbye. <laughs> Diesel had to help the workmen clear the mess. He hated it. All the trucks were laughing and singing at him. Trucks are waiting in the yard, packing them with easel. Show the world what I can do, gaily boast the diesel. In and out he creeps about, like a big black weasel. When he pulls the wrong trucks out, up goes the diesel. Arrgh! Growled diesel and scuttled away to sulk in the shed. Diesel, the new engine, was sulking. The trucks would not stop singing rudely at him. Duck was horrified. Shut up, he ordered and bumped them hard. I'm sorry our trucks were rude to you, Diesel. Diesel was still furious. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me. 
Nonsense, said Henry. Duck would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to the trucks. That would be dis... dis... Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. Diesel hated Duck. He wanted him to be sent away, so he made a plan. He was going to tell lies about Duck. Next day, he spoke to the trucks. I see you like jokes. You made a good joke about me yesterday. I laughed and laughed. Duck told me one about Gordon. I'll whisper it. Don't tell Gordon I told you. And he sniggered away. Oh, ho, ho, guffered the trucks. Gordon will be cross with Duck when he knows. Let's tell him and pay Duck out for bumping us. They laughed rudely at the engines as they went by. Soon Gordon, Henry and James found out why. Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, said James. Despicable, said Henry. We cannot allow it. They consulted together. Yes, they said. He did it to us. We'll do it to him and see how he likes it. Duck was tired out. The trucks had been cheeky and troublesome. He wanted a rest in the shed. Three engines barred his way. Hoosh! Keep out. Stop fooling, said Duck. I'm tired. So are we, hissed the engines. We are tired of you. We like diesel. We don't like you. You tell tales about us to the trucks. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. The fat controller came to stop the noise. Duck called me a galloping sausage, spluttered Gordon. Rusty red scrap iron, hissed James. I'm old square wheels, fumed Henry. Well, Duck? Duck considered. I only wish, sir, he said gravely, that I'd thought of those names myself, if the dome fits. Oh, <coughs> he made trucks laugh at us, accused the engines. The fat controller recovered. He'd been trying not to laugh himself. Did you, Duck? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine would be as mean as that. Diesel lurked up. Now, Diesel, you heard what Duck said. I can't understand it, sir, to think that Duck of all engines. I am dreadfully grieved, sir, but know nothing. I see, said the fat controller. Diesel squirmed and hoped he didn't. I'm sorry, Duck, but you must go to Edward's station for a while. I know he will be glad to see you. As you wish, sir. Duck trundled sadly away, while Diesel smirked with triumph. Duck, the great western engine, puffed sadly to Edward's station. It's not fair, he complained. Diesel has been telling lies about me and made the fat controller and all the engines think I'm horrid. Edward smiled. I know you aren't, and so does the fat controller. You wait and see. Why don't you help me with these trucks? Duck felt happier with Edward and set to work at once. The trucks were silly, heavy and noisy. The two engines had to work hard, 
pushing and pulling all afternoon. At last, they reached the top of the hill. Goodbye, whistled Duck, and rolled gently over the crossing to the other line. Duck loved coasting down the hill, running easily with the wind whistling past. Suddenly, it was a guard's warning whistle. Hurrah, 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 laughed the trucks. We've broken away, we've broken away. Chase him, bump him, throw him off the rails, they yelled. Hurry, Duck, hurry, said the driver. They raced through Edward Station, but the trucks were catching up as fast as we can. Then they'll catch us gradually. The driver was gaining control. Another clear mile and we'll do it. Oh, glory, look at that. James was just pulling out on their line from the station ahead. Any minute there could be a crash. It's up to you now, Duck, cried the driver. Duck put every ounce of weight and steam against the trucks. It's too late, Duck groaned and shut his eyes. He veered into a siding where a barber had set up shop. He was shaving a customer. The silly trucks had knocked their guard off his van and left him far behind after he had whistled a warning. But the trucks didn't care. They were feeling very pleased with themselves. <laughs> Beg pardon, sir, gasped Duck. Excuse my intrusion. No, I won't, said the barber. You frighten my customers. I'll teach you and he lathered Duck's face all over. Poor Duck. Thomas was helping to pull the trucks away when the Fat Controller arrived. I do not like engines popping through my walls, fumed the barber. I appreciate your feelings, said the Fat Controller, but you must know that this engine and his crew have prevented a serious accident. It was a very close um, shave, Oh, said the barber. Oh, excuse me. He filled a basin of water to wash Duck's face. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were being a brave engine. That's all right, sir. I didn't know that either. You were very brave indeed, said the Fat Controller. I'm proud of you. The Fat Controller watched the rescue operation. Then he had more news for Duck. And when you are properly washed and mended, you are coming home. Home, sir? Do you mean the yard? Of course. But, sir, they don't like me. They like Diesel. Not now. I never believed Diesel, so I sent him packing. The engines are sorry and want you back. A few days later, when he came home, there was a really rousing welcome for Duck the Great Western Engine. <laughs> <laughs> 